Welcome to Buffetti's Tech. Well, in this tutorial, we're going to look at changing a LG TV region so that, for example, if you move from one country to the other, you can actually set the region for the new country and access its local um, LG TV app store. In this example, you'll see the WebOS interface, and please note that this whole solution does rely on the LG TV that you're interested in being a WebOS based television. For us to be able to access the country specific LG TV app store, we really need to change two things. In the television. The first is the region or what is referred to as the area of LG and then from within that list of countries supplied by the region we select the particular country of interest. In order to do this we have to be able to access the services menu of the LG TV. This can only be done by sending a specific command, which unfortunately is not available on the standard LG remote. So, to deal with this, we need to program a Harmony remote to send this particular code. The Harmony remote that we're going to use for this exercise is the Companion Smart Control. It uh, has a hub and the remote itself. The tool that we're going to use to do the programming is an iPad. You can use an Android mobile device. You can do this from your PC as well. However, using a tablet device does make it particularly easy to do this as any changes you make to the program of the remote are automatically synced with the remote without you actually having to plug anything into your PC in order to do this. On your iPad, download the Harmony application and log into your My Harmony account. The application will then scan your Wi-Fi network looking for the Harmony hub that is part of this configuration. Having connected to the Harmony hub, select Harmony Setup from the top left hand drop down menu followed by Harmony Setup, then Add slash Edit Devices and Activities, and then Devices. Then press Add Device at the bottom of the screen, followed by Entertainment Device. Enter LG for the device manufacturer name, and then 47LE5300-UC, once added, the power on test menu will be shown. Select yes for having powered on and do not create an activity using the TV2 that has now been added. Back at devices select the LG TV2 device then power settings and now set to no power buttons on my original remote. This is to prevent any on-off commands automatically being sent for TV2. Press the right arrow. This returns to the device menu and then press the left arrow at the top of the screen twice to return to the settings menu. The 47LE5300-UC that we have used from the LG library has the easy adjust command available. This will be used in the watch TV activity. Select activities this time from the settings menu. Then select the watch TV activity and rerun activity. Tick TV2 and press the right arrow. 
Select the button My Devices Are On. Repeat pressing the right arrow to leave all current settings as they currently are. When you get to the input settings screen, set TV2 to No Input. Now press the right arrow again. Select Yes at the input testing screen. The activity will be saved. Select Test Later and this returns to the Activity Summary screen. Now select Customize Remote. A picture of the remote will be displayed. Select an unused button. These are typically in yellow. For example, the dot dash button. Next, select device name, then device. Set LG TV2 as the device and EZ-ADJ as the command. Press the right arrow three times, which will result in changes being saved. Press the right arrow another two times and close the setting screen. Now, when the Watch TV activity is active, the EZ-ADJ or Easy Adjust command will be available. Pressing the EZ Adjust button will bring up a text box on this TV screen asking to enter a password. Now let's recap on what we have actually achieved with uh, the number of steps that we've just gone through. The essence is that we are short or we need the code to access the EZ Adjust menu option within the LG TV. It so happens that in the Harmony database there is a TV that does actually happen to have this command pre-programmed. And this is why we are adding that particular device into our list of devices and it's automatically being named TV2. So what we do within the watch TV activity we essentially have two TVs the one being the actual TV and the second one being this TV2 that happens to have the command. With the password having been entered you will be taken to the Easy Adjust menu of your LG TV. Scroll down to item 7, which is the area option, and press enter. Write down the area code that is currently set. It is critical that you do this as we will be returning to our present region at the end of this exercise. With the area option menu on screen, type in the desired region code for area option and press enter then press exit. The three area codes that will be considered a year are those for North America, Europe and Australasia. Use the LG remote and switch off the TV then restart the TV. Note that it is assumed that the LG Magic remote is being used together with the Harmony remote. However your LG remote will behave fairly similarly to the magic remote. Press the home button. Wait a couple of seconds and use the pointer to select the settings icon in the top right corner of the screen followed by the advanced icon at the bottom right. Again this is using the LG remote. Select general then location. Uncheck service country setting auto and change the LG services country to one of those that are listed. Now navigate to the LG store which will now be the store for that country and so provide the apps available for that country. Note you may need to set up an account for the LG store that is different to the account of any other area or region that you already have. Exit the menu system to the main TV screen. Now Using the Harmony Remote, press the Easy Adjust button. The Area option, 
and enter your original area code. Press enter and then exit. Now, using the LG remote, switch off the TV and restart it again. Using the LG remote, go back into the normal TV settings and set your location back to the original country that you had. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. I'll be making some more videos of a similar flavor.